Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we'll introduce the new motion blur effect in PowerDirector 12. The motion blur tool can be found in Text Designer and in PIP Designer. So let's have a look at applying the motion blur option in PowerDirector 12's Text Designer. First, we'll open the title room by clicking on the text room icon. Then drag a title template down into the text track or into any video track. Then click on Modify to open Title Designer. I'll then click on the Motion tab and I'm going to choose the Roller Coaster Right effect as my starting effect and the Swarm Left effect as my ending effect. On playback, it looks like this. But now I'll scroll down and I'll choose the new Motion Blur option available in PowerDirector 12. For this example, I'll just set both values to their maximum limit. And now our Motion Blur text has that blurred motion appearance of a fast moving object. A very cool new effect available in PowerDirector 12 that can be used to enhance the look of any fast moving text or object. Now let's take a look at applying this motion blur effect to a motion object in PIP Designer. In this example, we'll use a landscape scene in track number one and a jet image in track number two. I've already given the jet image a motion path. When we play it back, it looks like this. But now, let's add PowerDirector 12's motion blur effect to our jet motion object. We highlight the jet image, then click on Modify to open PIP Designer, and then click on the Motion tab. Now, put a check mark in the Enable Motion Blur box, and then set your desired blur length and blur density settings. Then click on Save to return to the main screen. Now, with the motion blur effect applied, our scene looks like this. Using the same method, we can apply this new motion blur effect in many different scenarios. So give this new motion blur effect a try and see what you can come up with. Thanks for watching.